So we're ready for flight four of the Albatross. Again, reverse 6200 this time. Slightly concerning. Um, when I went to retrieve the plane before and I switched from landing flaps back to retracted, when I got to the plane, the left flap had retracted. The, the right flap was still on full flaps. So I thought, hmm, that's interesting, as the flap servo died. So I went flap through the flap motions one. and flap then it operated one. reliably flap over and retracted. over and over and flap so it's been two. fine. Flap but the question is, how did the right flap stay down after the prior landing that time? So that's a little bit concerning. I'm not even sure what it means. It's, there shouldn't be any load on the servo to make it stall or I, I just I'm not sure what would have actually caused it but anyway we're ready for flight four it's getting grayer and grayer rotate I mean with the extra weight the 6200 it just takes off exactly the same as a 4500 or 5000 and that's from this grass which is pretty good grass but um, it's much more drag than a hard runway, so a hard runway, the weight is going to be zero difference to it, it wouldn't even bother it. On grass, well, in this case, it's effectively a zero difference anyway. Oh, that rain's getting close. You can almost smell it. Uh, I want to try and get two more flights done before the rain gets here. So at least I use up the charged batteries. The lights are nice in this sort of little bit greyness. The colour is easy to see. So yeah, there's also wind coming, so that's blowing it in from that direction. So the wind is rising. I'm flying in um, the S8R with stability on, which is works really well you can definitely tell a difference doesn't bother the way you fly you don't really notice anything in it fighting you or any problems whatsoever and it just makes it very stable as it should that was a bit of a weird loop sort of lost reference of where I'd started and what I was doing so I didn't really form a very good loop at all. Two minutes. So I guess we'll have some telemetry on. Volts, so we've been flying and around using a lot of power. Roughly 60 amps, amps, pretty brisk. You can really fly about 50-55 quite sportily. Well, that's getting close, and I can smell it more and more. I think I'm going to have to pack up after this flight, really. Amps, 
close to it's run out of it's run out of power it's gone holy crap I can't come around I can't get around come on come on come on I couldn't do it no power and I couldn't re-trigger LVC by going to zero throttle. I did a, probably the best job possible of getting it to come around, but it just wasn't physically possible. I'd say all the bits that flew off were the drop tanks. Um, so hopefully that's the worst of the problems of it. I could just hear as I came down the far end, there was no wine anymore, so um, so I knew straight away that I'd run out of power. Oh. Oh, bent our pitot tube. What else have we done? Well, let's disconnect the battery for a while first. Very interesting, I only just crossed. 4,000. Well, that's why you're an imbecile. I wasn't listening to voltages. I assumed I'd put a 6200 in, but it was only a 4500. That is very dumb. And instead of listening to the voltages, which I quite often or normally would do, um, I was only going by capacity, which is not going to be right, of course. So that was very dumb.